Who would you think to give a shit about you? Right? It's an individual thing. Well, that's why I think it's so crazy. Like, it was kind of honestly, you know, the the America's Next Top Models where they do like the hair transformations, yes. and then everybody's like, I don't understand why they're so upset. It's like because literally it's their hair. <laughs> like, and a lot of people like that. Whenever looks are your job, yeah. Like you identify so strongly with like your hair, and it it can become like so much of like everything. How you see yourself as an individual that like it's like. I don't understand how you couldn't be upset about somebody understand. somebody just taking away a part of you. Right. Like, yeah. People like that don't sympathize with anybody else. Well, they just they don't, don't, they don't have any empathy whatsoever. Right. And it's like, you're the problem with society. Yes. <laughs> like, you can't put yourself in their shoes. Like, what if some stranger came up to you and just, like, shaved off your hair? Like, you would be upset. You would cry. Oh, my God. That just... Oh... It's, yeah, like, it would not be okay. <laughs> and that's essentially what these people were going through. I mean, sure, it's yes, somewhat consensual, but, like, no. they, they weren't, they were very strong-armed into not being allowed to oh, say yeah. no. Yeah. They were like, if you say no, you fucking lose. And it's like, okay, well, then you're not actually giving them Gosh. the opportunity to say no. Right. If you're threatening them. So false bits I don't like, but... Oh, there's two purple. It's not the worst false fit problem. Oh, God, no. Definitely oh, no. more than I would have liked from a puzzle. Yes. Man, the, 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 like. I'm surprised, actually. The shininess is so nice after doing so many blue kazoo puzzles. Yes. That I there's not shininess. Sure. Right. Yes, I agree. I mean, there's still some shininess because I don't. I feel like you can never have like a perfectly matte. Yeah. And also, like the more oils, like your hand oils, get on this, I think the more shiny it'll be. But oh yeah. Well, yeah. Human hands are the most one of the most corrosive things in the world. Like, have you ever looked at like old like um, like rifles from like ye olden times like yes. 100 years ago and they have like the the finish has been rubbed off from just like ha holding it mm -hmm. that's literally just from hands touching it okay that sounds gross people are gross well, i mean human beings are really gross we literally like shit where we sleep. oh god no oh no. no, stop it's true i can't you do, though. <laughs> I can't. No, I don't. You shit in your home. Stop. You do. In a separate room. Sure. Oh, my God. Because you're... Okay, lucky. can we stop? I can't. But, like, that's what I'm saying. Is animals don't do that. Yeah. I do. Major. You're 50 years old. Like... I can't do... No. <laughs> it is the one subject so I talk cannot. About that to somebody about why. Why? I've lived for fifty years not talking to anybody about it. Why do I need to talk to somebody about it now? <laughs> yeah, that's insulting. Why? It doesn't bother me. Okay. It obviously does bother you. No, it doesn't. Just don't talk about it. Yeah, that's the whole discussion. Let's see, let's go through some of these ones. Graveyard with I'm a banshee. Um, the place where you prepare dead people. More. Vill villagers trying to raise the castle. A bunch of stored coffins. I'm guessing, I'm hoping those aren't slaves, but I'm guessing they probably are. Dead people. Adventurers. Uh, lock picking people. A sane asylum. Uh, that nice. guy's in a straight jacket. Nice. A guy about to jump through a window. That's not good. People eating dinner. A guy pulling jewels off of a dead body in a mausoleum. Right. A guy in bed. Something's happening. <laughs> oh wait, there's also a chick there. But there's like a tornado in the, the room. That's why I said something. Uh... Something not sexy is happening. Okay. Attic space. A snake? Okay. Two guys fighting in the office. Skin. Yeah. 
at the skin flaps. Mm-hmm. It's kind of gross, but... Guy choking a guy. Not sexy. <laughs> I, mean, I don't I... think choking someone is sexy. I don't know where you're raised. <laughs> <laughs> We live in a very different world. <laughs> the fact that you have to keep saying that it's not, we live in very different worlds. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't ever go on book talk. <laughs> oh. You frighten me sometimes. Oh, that was the funniest thing I've ever said. <laughs> the fact that you kept saying, it's like... Well, I'm okay. just saying it's not in a sexy way. I get it. Choking someone is not. Oh my god. Okay. Stop. 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 Library? Stop. <laughs> oh, Lord. Have mercy. Oh, oh, you should never go on book talk. Just... Never mind. I have read books, Kelsey. I, I know that it can be. But when you're talking about Dracula's house, I don't think... Vampires can be sexy. Clarify. I understand, but when we're talking about this puzzle, I don't think you need to clarify. Well, I mean, this one definitely looks sexy. Oh, wait, no, it's exorcism. <laughs> <laughs> can you read a wholesome book? Any? wholesome book please why would i read lies? because well there is wholesome yeah lady there. in a bathtub <laughs> good timing two men and a chick in a bedroom don't know where that one's going oh lord uh dead chick yeah there's flowers on the bed the three guys not in a sexy way and a guy stabbing a dead body those are the rooms. Okay. You chose this puzzle. I'm just explaining what's in it. Lots of dead people. Yes. It's weird. When vampires are around, a lot of people die. Yes. Um, Did you ever Crash watch one. Vampire Diaries? Vampire Diaries. No. Yeah. It was not something that interested me. Good. I like the lore in that show, which sounds stupid because it's not really a lore. I just like the idea of the world, not necessarily the execution of the characters or really the main plot of the, the show, <laughs> but like the magic system and like the way, like the lore of everything in that show is cool. I wish they would have focused less on vampires because, like, it gives a shit, and more on the witches because the witches were the best part of that, those shows. And they got, like, the least airtime and were killed the most often. Isn't that, like, difficult? Yeah, killing witches historically it always happens in America for some reason. Can't have nice things here. Well, maybe they shouldn't put spells on well, maybe people shouldn't suck so much. Yeah, agreed. Some people deserve to get bad spells put on them. Okay. So yes. You said some. I'll, I'll agree with you on that. Some. Have you met a man? I said, okay, I agree. Some. Exactly. You change the bed. Not in a sexy way? <laughs> I'll assume that everything's not. Although Thank vampires you. are generally, you know, over-sexualized, I think. Well, I would agree with you there. They are. Yeah, the book, that the two books that I just read, which I'm excited for more to come out, honestly. It was uh, called Sex Wizards. And sex Wizards? The whole concept was magic came from sex, basically. Different ways of doing okay. that. It was interesting. It was actually really well thought out for being like a book that could easily just be a money maker. Pretty well thought out. And it was actually really in depth about like uh, the things that different people like and what they don't like and triggers and what happens whenever 
people abuse the system and take advantage of people, and it was really well written. And a lot of, like, the second book, because they had rescued people who got kidnapped and were being used, um, a lot of it was covering, like, recovering from sexual trauma, too. Yeah. Which was really good. Really well done. Author I definitely was, like... I still am... Um, I am very surprised at how many... How much trafficking there is. I just didn't know. I feel stupid for not knowing, but I didn't feel how much was out there. Yeah. Uh, all over the place. Spider go outside. Oh my god. That's why, like, the idea of Uber, I was like, whenever that started becoming a thing, and also, like, uh, Airbnb, I was like, women can't use these things. <laughs> this is just an easy way to get kidnapped and human traffic like and it, it is it's used quite oh, often yeah. for those things and it's like what were you thinking like i would say quite often no it it's used. used very often like there there's i was watching a tiktok the other day of this woman who was like the airbnb called them and woke them up and told them to get out of their um airbnb as fast as possible and not to speak to the person that owned the place or anything like that just to leave immediately wow and yeah, and it was because they had found out bad things had been coming from it. That's creepy. <laughs> and then the the person that owned the place was like, "Hey, did you leave?" And they're like, "Yeah, we left." And they're like, "Hey, if you get any weird e emails from Airbnb, just ignore them. Don't worry about it." And they're like, <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't think so. "We're good. We're good, actually." No, that would freak me out. That would freak me it out. It should freak you out. Because number one, getting woken up about that. But number two, do you believe the Airbnb? Yes. Or do you believe I don't care. The I, other I would always err on the side of caution. Well, yeah, yeah. I would say. Yeah, I'm not I saying would... hotels are a safe place to go, but at least there's generally more people. Have you ever thought of, like, what your life would be, like, what oh. you would be doing right now if you had never had children? I would have that? had children. No, like if you. No, I would have always. No. Okay. And the answer is no. You've never thought about it, guy. Kind of. No, I would have always had children. If I didn't what have children you, with your dad, I would have had children have with somebody children. else. What if you couldn't have children? Like, what uh, if it was like something that was not possible. Like, you weren't allowed to adopt, and also you couldn't have. Like, what would you be? Who would you be without children? Do you think? <sighs> Uh, I think you'd be a lot healthier. <laughs> would have had to deal with my shit, that's for sure. Well, to be fair, I was not the best person in the world. I mean, I'm not saying I'm, I was, ooh, I was so bad, you know, but I, I partied a lot. I... Well, a lot. That, and I put myself into a lot of dangerous situations. You see that a lot of the times people are like, I got my shit together and then I had kids. Or no. I got my shit together because I had kids. Because I had kids, yeah. That happens too. Yeah. And it's like, huh, what, what would have happened if they just never had kids? Like, would they have slipped like, back into it? Or like, oh. Well, I would have never, I wouldn't have gotten out of it. That's just it. Yeah. Because you don't think so? having kids made me stop doing those things because I had other priorities. So, yeah. So if you couldn't have, like, ne like have children? Yeah. Like if you couldn't have birth children? Do you think you would have adopted? No. I don't. I honestly don't. Um, just because that's... I wouldn't have thought of that being an option for me. Oh, really? Well, because of would you have done foster care or anything like that? No, I absolutely would not. Because like adopting care. isn't foster care, right? No, like, those are two separate things. But I absolutely would not have done foster care. That is, foster care takes a unique type of person, and I don't think that anybody should get into it willy nilly. 
I think it should be something that's very well thought out. Yeah, it's because not because it's not usually a fun. I mean, there is a lot of there being, is a lot of being there for children that need it is right. great and everything, but it's a lot of fucking work and a lot of heartbreak. It's a lot of emotional stress, and yeah. if you can't handle you have to that, be a very emotionally strong person. Exactly, because they are used to not having somebody be there for them. So you have to be there no matter what. And not all people are set up to do that. You know, I was thinking because you're the guy from the UK. You know, I was like, man, he's got to be so sick of hearing fucking our accent. Because whenever I went to California, I didn't even realize this. Whenever I got home, I was like, it is so nice not to hear people with like a California accent. Really? I'm so sick of not hearing people talk like I talk. <laughs> And that's just, you know, across the country, so I can't Interesting. imagine, like, I don't know. I guess he's pretty used to it because he deals with this all the time, but... Yeah. yeah. It's different than, like, never hearing another British person talk. I don't... Hmm. Yeah, because you were gone from home for, like, two weeks. Yeah, you guys were gone for a long time. Uh, it felt like a long time. <laughs> apparently, we're going to... Yeah, I'm not happy about this. Why? I was not consulted. Okay, you can come if you want, I guess. <laughs> New family, who dis? <laughs> yeah, we're actually phasing out our old families, so like... I noticed. Trust me, I've noticed. Trust me, I've noticed. <laughs> oh yeah, I never spend time with my family. Well, to be fair, we don't get to get Wait, yeah, I never see you. No, I said we don't get together. The family. Like. I just went to lunch with you guys. The whole family? You're welcome, by the way. Take time out of I'm my I'm welcome for birthday. buying you lunch? <laughs> I'm welcome? I know, whatever, <laughs> whatever he was talking about going to that burger place. Yeah. I was like, I guess, since you're buying, I kind of don't have any food. <laughs> And I was looking at the burger, I was like, he wants to go here. I know. I was like, eh. Like, he's not gonna like it. Yeah. But I don't, I mean, I guess I don't eat burgers at the, uh, at Goldie's, so I don't know how good It just seemed there. too fancy for me, but. Well, they, uh, here's the thing. The food can be fucking delicious, but the, if the Atmo is like. Oh my God. The vibes is like bougie yeah. hipster. It, like it was way hipster. And I know I should like that shit, but I, I want. Know. I love Goldie's because it is like greasy old. This is where the people, old people eat. That's it's quiet. Exactly. I'm the loudest motherfucker in that room. Like, exactly. And I don't talk very loud, so. But I agree with you. I I don't. It was funny that we ran into like half the town there. Yes. I was like, oh, <laughs> right. Yes. This is what happens when you live in one place for too long. Everybody. I, I, that's just more proof that place is good, though. It is, because the more people All, you're Only in, locals go there. Right. We went to Billy Ray's on Tuesday and got catfish. Like, it wasn't even like... They were, like, gushing about it. I was like, Shiloh's has better catfish than this. <laughs> and, like, their hush puppies were unnecessarily spicy. I hate when people put shit in hush puppies. Like, don't fuck with oh. it. Just make well, good hush puppies. Yeah, there is something and in were, hush like, puppies, they were but... this big. Oh, I was like, if a hush puppy tiny. isn't like, yeah, it needs to have at least yeah. meatball sized, yeah. like it a large be meatball. I, it, yeah, and they give you two, but like, it's, and the, like the fish fillets were like the catfish fillets are so small too. Are and, they trying to save money or what? No, that's crazy. I didn't pay for it, but it was. Yeah. Eh, I'd rather go to Shiloh's. <laughs> Strawberry rhubarb jam every day. Oh yeah, definitely. That's every day, all day, every day. Right. Oh, shit! Get back to me. I'm about to show up early. We have to wait till Jack goes back to work. Why? Why can't you like good things? I I don't know why he didn't like Shiloh's, but he really does not like Shiloh's. It's. I mean, I will say, like, most of the food is generally just okay. 
but I like I like the vibes there and I like the shitty coffee and I like the rhubarb jam honestly the rolls are the only reason to go there this is this and that's the chimney now I want to go to Shadow. we should go to Shadow's for lunch today <laughs> Drive all, the, to drive all the way into B8. No. They, they tore down that, that uh, hotel next door, didn't they? I think, did they? I think they did. I haven't been over there. I, I was driving lie. by and I was like, this this part of the highway looks weird. No, I haven't been over there in a while. Oh, that's a tree? Oh, <gasps> I have a secret. Oh, you got a secret? A secret I'm not even supposed to know about that's work. Secret. We bought a building. <gasps> and you're just... Publicly announced it. I don't care. By the time this video is edited or uploaded, we probably are. It's ready. live. Shh, nobody's here. Are you sure? Um, how we bought a building. I'm so excited. We are, um, so we're moving closer technically to me, <gasps> which is all that matters. What? It's like right there. Oh my god, that's, that's cool. cool. I'm so excited. Okay, that's kind of cool. A pain in the ass, but we're getting a lot bigger, a lot more space for help desk, uh, help, not help desk, yeah, but for IT. Way more places to go to eat. Yeah, it's like in the middle of town. <laughs> yeah, so. Well, I mean, we can go anywhere. I just. I know, but. It's the only time I'm in the BA now is right. whenever I'm going to work. But like my short, my drive is going to be cut in half. That's cool. That's always nice. But the downside is Rocket Brothers technically isn't on the way anymore. Oh no. So I have to go out of my way to go to the shittier Rocket Brothers. Um, oh, the one in Tulsa is better. Worse. I don't think it's worse. I'm just. They don't know my name. Oh, yeah. yeah. So therefore, it is oh, worse. Okay, gotcha. Grief. My boss went with the UK guy to. And I'm just going to call him that because I'm nice. Yeah. To Rocket Brothers. And they're like, oh, we should get we should get Kelsey one. And they they told the person they're like, hey, she comes here a lot. And they're like, what does she drive? And they explain my car. And they're like, oh yeah yeah, that's what she gets. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I was just like, oh shit, we like. <laughs> wow. I generally try to only go twice a week. Wow. Honestly, but like this week, I went three times a week because it was bad. Because Tuesday I was like, fuck it, I'm going getting rocket flippers. I disturb it after <laughs> everything that happened on Monday. Oh my god. You know, you know. Yeah, but that's, oh gosh. Should have bought a mind to find the bus. <laughs> it should come with one, honestly. Agreed. You know what? New idea. Include a magnifying glass in every episode. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> and I, I, I know. Oh, it's exactly what I thought it was. Oh gosh. Mm. Is that a good or a bad thing? Um. Do you like horror movies? Yeah. Oh, there's a. What? Okay, baby. No. No, that would have made me cry. There's a dead horse. Aww. That's so sad. Did you say that wouldn't make you cry? Probably not. But you're... <laughs> you're broken. <laughs> you are absolutely It's broken. only because in the early 2000s everybody made dead baby jokes. It was very popular. It was very fucked up. Sorry, that surprised me. A dead horse? Yeah, that's sad. The horse doesn't know why it's dead. I love you so much. I hate when animals die in movies. <laughs> the only thing you know that they're not crying. really dying, right? No, but it's the whole story thing. It's... But you know, sometimes they're not... they do. They didn't ask to be there. Okay. I can't. Wow. Like you were really upset. Literal tears. <laughs> that shit fucks me, dude. I do animal death. I actually put a trigger warning on one of our videos for discussions of pet death and stuff because that's way more triggering. I put trigger warnings on any of our like sense more sensitive content, but like Yeah, some of the content I'm not happy about it being remade, but remade? I don't know. I just not remade, it. but
On today's episode, where have all the pieces been? <laughs> oh, it's in my shoe. Truly knows. Oh, guess what it is. The edge is on your side. <laughs> it was in my shoe. That's not what fell. <laughs> it's truly a mysterious world we uh. live in. All the bad juju, get away from this table. <laughs> I don't even care if this is real. I'm gonna do it. Oh, Lord. Hey. Okay. If people can believe in, like, a random book made a thousand years ago, I can believe in witchcraft. Sure. See, that's my problem with posters that big. They're it's, unus awesome. it's unusable at that point. And it's too unwieldy. No, it's a good size. It's just you put all the other crap on there, so it's like... You can't use it to hold it and reference it, because right. it's too much stuff in there. And, like, I could refold it to where it's just a thing, but then you, like, I'm not consistent. No, I agree. It's dumb. Do better. Yeah. I think that's my biggest problem with puzzles like this. Like, yeah, it's cool that there's so much going on, because it, I guess, makes it easier, but honestly... I like the puzzles where you can just zone out and like put pieces in. <laughs> like this is a lot more stressful to me than like Oh really? Like the freaking Grand Canyon puzzle, you know? Hmm. Cause you didn't have to search where the sky was. It was the whole half of the puzzle. Well I mean technically Oh, there's a dead kid. Hmm. Oh. I like it. Um I what I was gonna say now. <laughs> oh, there's a guy crawling up. Okay. Mm -hmm. that's the more you look at this puzzle and you're like, oh, another thing. Oh, yeah. another thing. <laughs> okay. I was like, I'm, I'm trying to get these in, but you found mm -hmm. them and now I have to refine them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's only half of it is sorting it into the rooms. And then you have to re- Right. Sorting then you have to refine them. Figure out what's on the piece, but I'm really impressed with the images on the pieces. You know? Yeah, yeah honestly, because yeah, they could have been so much worse. Because, like, whenever we were doing the Blue Kazoo, some of the images are kind of like not high quality. Right. But this is such a high quality that you can see like, details that are like. I don't even have anything to compare how small it is. I didn't even know some of the stuff was in here by looking at the picture. Like smaller than a drop of water and it's, it's like thick. three things. 